Hello everyone, today I want to show you an Excel trick of how to input dates uh, in a time-saving manner in Excel. So for example, as you can see in this scenario, um, as on HR, for example, we do a lot of reports. Sometimes we need to input, say, expense uh, for a report for each month. So in this, I have an Excel add-on with a million calendar so I can easily see which days are what date of the week and now I can just select the cell I want and then just input the dates as I need. So it's very handy. I can see which day it is today. Um, I can also see if I have some uh, public holidays. So for example in Canada, July 1st is a Canada day um, and August, um, this is August 3rd is also a public holiday. So I can easily see that from the calendar that highlights highlights it um, and I will show you how easy it is to just recreate this. Okay so now I have a brand new Excel spreadsheet and I want to create an expense report. Uh, the first thing I do if I don't want to create anything from scratch is I will go to home and I'll go to templates and see if there's any templates that's already available. So let me say I want to look for some kind of reports. Uh, so yeah, so here are uh, all kinds of report templates that I can use. So let's say I like this one, the expense report. So I just select it, create, um, and it gives me a report that I can basically just recreate and customize for my needs, which is pretty handy, right? So let's say with this template, I want to input all my information in those cells. Um, I have a lot of dates that I need to input, but um, I don't want to do it more like the manual way. And I also have to check which date it is. Um, I don't like that. So instead of doing it this manual way, um, I will go to insert on the top, get add-ins. Uh, this is available for Excel uh, 2013 and above versions. And then in the add-in here, you select, um, you search for mailing calendar. Okay, so it's going to be the first one that pops up, mailing calendar and date pick, picker. So add it, continue. And it's going to show you something like this. So you can just put it somewhere um, that's outside your template. It doesn't affect your template, but it's also easily seen. Um, and uh, you can drag to make it like ideal for um, size. Um, let's say this is a size I have, and then immediately you can see this is a day. This is today's date. Um, this is a monthly calendar. You can go back and forth for the dates, for the dates that you want. So, for example, let's say I want to do the front and two days here. Uh, the template itself already has some kind of formula here, but you know what, I don't really like it. I just want to input my own date. So let's say my front date is going to be July 1st. I just click on the date and then to date, I just select the cell and then go to the last date of July. And here we go. So I just have an input here. And now I can do the same thing for all my expense dates here. Yeah, so it's very good because you can see which day of the week it is and then that helps to uh, help you to remember things and uh, just pick the day faster. And then let's say if you don't like the format, you can always just go back to your home and then change the format as you need. Um, another thing uh, I want to emphasize for this meeting calendar is that look at all the settings here. They can also be helpful. So for example, my template here is red. This is blue. I don't like it. I can change. So just select the second uh, button here and then you can select different color themes, right? You can do whatever you like. Let's say I just want this one that has no dates to it. Um, and you can do that. And you can also choose how you want to show your dates. So for example, in this current format, I have Sunday the first. I don't like it. Maybe I want to just have Monday as the first. And then you can choose this globe sign to show to to change that. So now I have Monday first and Sunday's last. Um, and actually, when you click on the top part of it, you can actually also change the language for it, which is pretty cool. Um, the fourth button here is that where you can show the week number. I really like this. I always I always keep it so it tell 
helps me to check which week of the year I'm at. And it's also very important for my form, usually for my form inputting purpose. Um, the last one is highlighting range of dates. So for example, you can see I'm adding public holiday for Canada into this form. So how do I do that? So again, like in, in the form, somewhere you create a series of dates with, let's say, your title to say, okay, it's sta statutory holiday uh, in this R column R. So all those are the statutory holidays in Canada for 2020. So what you do is you click on this highlight range of dates um, and it's going to ask you to select a range contains dates. So in my formula, uh, you, you, in my template file, I select all the dates here and I go OK. And then here you go. So you see all the dates that's in this uh, list is highlighted. So let's say the next one is September the 7th. So when we go to September the 7th, you see this data is also highlighted. So when you go to September, you will know that's a public holiday. So maybe you should not submit any expense report for that public holiday. And then for October, it's the 12th, November, nothing. And then December is the Christmas day, da, da, da. So yeah, so that's pretty handy uh, for the purpose of form inputting. And then of course, if you don't like to have this showing, you can always just have it hidden and then it just doesn't hurt your format at all. So yeah, so I found this mailing calendar really helpful for my uh, increasing my productivity um, and efficiency. And uh, I hope that it can help you as well. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.